Why did I choose this iPad Pro as a laptop replacement instead of just buying a MacBook or a Windows laptop? Well, to answer that question, we have to go back in time. One week ago, I bought the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus in hopes of using it as a laptop replacement. I figured that DeX for the most part would make the tasks where I need a real computer a little more palatable and for the most part, I actually really liked it. But there was a deal breaker. The Tab S8 Plus keyboard book cover isn't available for sale in Canada anymore. And I'm not talking about the slim one, I mean the one with a trackpad. Either way, even if it was available here, it only ships as an English French bilingual keyboard. And you don't get the option in software to change it to a US standard layout. All of the legends on the keyboard are what you get. And for the price that I paid for the tablet and what would be the keyboard, I just felt like I was jumping through unnecessary hoops. I really liked the form factor though, so I ended up purchasing a Surface Pro 8 and within a couple of hours, it literally just broke. The screen went completely dead and irresponsive and it was flickering. It made absolutely no sense to me, so I just took it to Best Buy and returned it. After I posted a tweet about the Surface, my buddy Aiden said, why don't you just buy an iPad? And it had crossed my mind, but I just got an S22 Ultra and I didn't feel like rejoining Apple's really tightly integrated ecosystem. I just wanted something that would work with my phone or work with everything else that I already own. I didn't wanna, again, jump through these hoops that shouldn't exist in the first place. So whether it was a Samsung tablet or laptop or Windows laptop, I just felt like that ecosystem was a better fit for me at this point in time. So I picked up a Surface Laptop 4. Giving up the form factor of the tablet, I figured the laptop has to be good, especially for the price. So I took it home and started using it and it was really hot, really loud. The display was only 60 Hertz coming from 120 on the Pro 8. And for the price, it just didn't make sense to me giving up these features and dealing with this performance of this laptop. Now, I didn't wanna give up hope, so I had to try one more and I ended up purchasing a really beefy spec Inspiron 14. Now, I'm not even kidding when I say that the display was so dim on this laptop that I would not even have been able to use it in this lighting. And it's not even that bright in here, it's just a regular apartment room. The brightness was cranked up to max and it, it looked like I was on 20% brightness on every other computer that I've ever used. Like, I just don't understand how these budget laptops are so bad. And I say budget because Inspiron is Dell's budget line. You know, the XPS is their premium laptops, but I wouldn't consider $1,200 for a laptop budget. Like, that's ridiculous. So I, I just gave up. And Aiden's tweet kept replaying over and over in my head, just buy an iPad, buy an iPad. And I did. I bought this M1 iPad Pro 12.9 inch, and I also picked up Logitech's Combo Touch keyboard with it. And the reason why I bought this over the smart keyboard might be its own video. So if you guys wanna see that, just subscribe to the channel and stay updated. But I've been using this iPad now for a couple of days and it just makes so much sense. This thing has a beautiful mini LED display with a thousand nits of peak brightness versus the 250 on the Inspiron. The tablet form factor that I've been looking for out of a two-in-one or a Samsung tablet is here and it's better than ever with the exception of not having something like DeX. But Apple is listening and while I don't think Stage Manager is the answer to a problem we've been asking Apple to fix for so long, I think it shows a really good step in the right direction and shows that Apple cares about iPadOS from a productivity standpoint. I like that I can write my scripts for these videos using the keyboard cover and then just pull it away when I wanna watch YouTube videos or play some games. I can even use this kickstand here to keep it propped up so I don't have to hold onto this hefty tablet. I just, I really like the versatility that comes out of this thing and I think it's sweet. Yes, it's expensive. I mean, this version of the iPad Pro alone starts at 1400 Canadian and that's not including something like a keyboard cover or the Magic Keyboard, which can get really expensive. And not to try to justify that price point or anything, but the M2 MacBook Air comes in at $100 more and lacks a touchscreen, a mini LED display, it has half the brightness, and you don't get the same versatility or usability that you do out of something like this iPad. Yes, it is a laptop, it's a more traditional experience, but I think when it comes to these products, there's 
two different types of consumers. You either know that you want something like an iPad or you want a laptop. And I think for the people looking for something like this, this is pretty much your best and only option, except for maybe the Tab S8 Ultra if you can find the keyboard cover and can find availability on it. Would I recommend this iPad to just a regular consumer? Absolutely not. I'm gonna try to implement this into my workflow as much as I can to get the value out of this thing. But for me personally, I feel like this is the best option that I could have went for. Keep in mind the new iPad Air also has an M1 chip. And while it lacks the mini LED display, the extra storage and RAM, it's essentially the same thing. You can get everything that you can get done on this, on this. And I would recommend something like the Air over the Pro to pretty much anybody looking for an iPad unless you specifically know you need the Pro, you need the extra RAM or the storage that comes along with it. But when you start to increase the storage size and the RAM size, the price goes up significantly. So just keep that in mind as well. You could technically get a just as functional iPad for very close to half the price. Personally, I think whether you're a student, a filmmaker, a digital artist, uh, there's a ton of people that can benefit from the functionality of one of these things, especially when you have full-fledged creation apps coming to them. They definitely have the power available to them to be able to handle those applications and do pretty much anything that you need. They do lack the Mac OS environment or just pretty much any desktop environment, but there are improvements coming and hopefully down the line they start to get improved on a little bit more because this thing is no joke. It's faster than most of the laptops available today. It runs quieter and cooler than pretty much every single laptop available. And just having the functionality of a computer versus the versatility of a tablet, it just, it's super cool. And for me personally, the reason why I bought the Pro is because I wanted a device that I was able to write scripts on, like I mentioned, and keep up with my YouTube analytics or just anything involving like social media and stuff that I use on a regular basis without having to necessarily sit at my computer for most of the day. When it comes to like making content, the last thing that you wanna do is make it feel like you're stuck. And being sitting at a desk the entire time, focusing on it nonstop, is just not really good and having a device like a laptop or a tablet is really good to create that separation because you know while i'm sitting in bed i can just work on some stuff or you know fix my script last minute when i take out the keyboard i don't have to necessarily be locked into my desk and the reason for not necessarily wanting a laptop is because i don't do a whole lot on it like i'm not using this as my main content creation device i'm not editing videos on it but it is nice to know that I could, if I need to, with LumaFusion, or if I need to make a thumbnail, I can use Photoshop, for example, and just doing so in this form factor that is very portable, very easy to carry around. The battery life is amazing. I don't need the extra benefits of a MacBook, and I definitely don't wanna pay the extra cost for one. So this is my laptop replacement, and this thing is sick. Thank you guys for watching this video. And thank you for a thousand subscribers. It feels crazy to say that. In the script, I actually wrote like we're very close to it, but by the time that I'm making this video, we did hit it and it's wild because by the time this video goes up, I should essentially be a YouTube partner, which is crazy because it's only been two months of making content, but you guys have been showing a ton of support and a ton of love and have been enjoying the videos that I've been making, which is like mind blowing to me, but Thank you nonetheless. I hope you guys learned something from this video, maybe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.